relationships. But you're wrong. For me, I think it, I don't know if he was trying to create friction, but it's is your brother a hater? That's hard to say. Well, okay, I'll that's tell you. That, that, that that's a, when you got to say that's hard to say. That's a yes. Yeah, that is I, I'll tell you a story like about my brother people. that I don't know if that makes him a hater or not. But my dad, you know, Caribbean dads, they cheat. My dad cheated, and my that's brother was the one who came cheated. and told my mom about it. <laughs> he's a snitch. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, yeah, he's the one. To this day, I feel like there's a unresolved tension between him and my dad because I would assume he's the so. one who told my mom. Fucking yeah. constantly ratting your own kid, <laughs> ratting on you. Yeah. So. yeah Good thing yeah. he wasn't around when they was trying to free Haiti. That nigga would have <laughs> from the country. So guess what uh, they getting uh, to do tonight? <laughs> They're probably going to do it at 3 o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, if you live around Will Sylvans long enough, you'll pick up some sort of Haitian will, accent. I'll tell I you what. I grew up around I grew up around Haitians a lot. Mm-hmm. And um, it was a, it, it's what's interesting, too, is the just immigration, immigrants and first-generation immigrants in general, <clears throat> they're not interested in, in personal fulfillment and happiness like that's their they're interested in survival and and education survival and so on and so forth and so it's like that next generation where there's food on the table you you decide that there's more to it than just making your parents proud and there's more to it than 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 just doing what everybody else wants you to do and you start this you know which is a really new concept um, it is. This kind of self fulfillment, and and then I think to a certain extent, um, now I mean the younger kids today, it's it's too much that you know what I mean. There's no no real. Everybody uh, has a dream. All I have agree a dream with and, you. I agree yeah. with you one hundred percent. It feels like the balance has been lost. Yeah, yeah. Everything in life is all about balance, and there's the balance of. The individual versus the collective. Right. And immigrants are 100% the collective. Fuck your dreams as an individual. Fuck your aspirations. We don't want none of that. Just do what you need to do so the collective could be proud. Right, 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 right. And now you have 100% the individual, which is also a problem. It's always a problem with no consideration for Mm -hmm. anybody else or anything. Absolutely. That's right. Absolutely. Right. Hey, TJ, uh, you're talking about your dad openly cheating and stuff. Like, how did that affect you and the way you approach relationships and stuff? Just having that. Damn, I didn't know this show was going to be a therapy session. God damn, this is. <laughs> I'm, That's what it is. That's what I'm, we do. I'm, 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 this it's is like, great. This it's is great. like therapy, um, but openly smoking weed. That's the only problem. I, I think uh, on some level, it uh, made me afraid of emotional connection why well, how did you how did you get to that how did here's you where it stopped becoming place? a therapy session uh, <laughs> it's never you never want to hear that from your therapist oh Yo, son <laughs> how that make you feel <clears throat> uh so all right so the way it happened was you know when the cheating thing was happening i was about 14 15 years old and there was a lot of arguing every night and it would get loud and my neighbors could hear it. And I'm, and I'm a pretty private dude. I don't like when people know what's going on in my house. So there was a lot of shame hanging out with my friends when I could tell, oh, did they fucking hear what my mom and dad were mm-hmm. arguing about last night? So that was, that was, it was icky. It was an icky, icky feeling. Yeah. And then later in life, I finally had a, conversation with my mother as an adult mm-hmm. and we were talking because she she nags my father a lot right and and uh we i i sat down and i'm like i wanted to know like why do you always nag him so much like you know beyond the cheating we're not even talking about that just as a human being to human being yeah, and yeah. she goes she goes to tell you the truth i never really loved your father wow god damn Damn, yeah, at least she's honest about it, but fuck. Wow. Right. And it's the kind of show you're like, oh, I wish I didn't know that. And then, but what was, what was your response to that? I, I didn't really have, I don't think I was emotionally equipped to like respond to that. Really? She told me the story. He of, was only seven years old at the time. It might've been, <laughs> might've been way too there's soon. A, there's a guy him. that she, he was like, I'm this many years old. She was like, I never loved your father. So, yeah. 
Now, so there's a Christmas guy that gift. she was in love with, uh, uh-huh. and the dude ended up leaving Haiti. Uh-huh. And that's the guy of her dream. She was going to marry that guy. The right. guy left, and now she's, you know, by herself. And, you know, part of it is at that time, you had to settle down. And my dad was around, and she settled for my dad. Right. And I think to this day, a part of me, this is where the, the emotional, feel of emotional connection comes in. Like, right. I'm always afraid of settling. Okay. Wow, that's like, interesting. That's interesting that you looked at it from your mom's perspective and not your dad's perspective because I, I would think that your 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 well, this aversion, more of a aversion from the mom's aversion, lesson. well, no, aversion from intimacy could be, gosh, I wouldn't want to be somebody that asked somebody to to marry them and they didn't. They only married me because I was around, and you know, yeah. I mean, it had to be some kind of courting and stuff. I mean, I, I don't, I, I mean, I don't know your dad, but I, he had to. There was, some, there was definitely courting, but it just, like, I've never seen my parents kiss. I've never seen any of that. Really? I've never seen any outward display of affection. They just don't do that. And then part, I'm wondering if that's because she just couldn't bring herself to actually love him. She just has him as a husband, uh-huh. but it's not someone I'm excited to be with or just do stuff with. So, Maybe that played in my psyche. So now I, I get very, I get bored very easily with people. Yeah. Like I'll date a girl for three, four months. We have a good thing. And then as soon as it's time to like, maybe take it to that place, you know, like when women go, where's this going? Right. That's my least favorite question in the world. Like it, it, it's cool. We're chilling. I, yeah. Once you put that in my head, I'm almost out of the door. When you ask right. that, TJ goes, uh, I don't know where you're going, but I'm going that way. So <laughs> going to the Uber, bitch. Bye. Yeah. Oh, which, or more like, which way are you going? Because I'm going the other way. Wherever the yeah. fuck you go, you know. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's it's interesting. I mean, did you ever talk to your father about this or no? No, not really. No. And are I, you close I, with I him or no? To. I want yeah. to. Yeah, yeah, we're close, but we're not. You know, some kids, some dudes are friends with their dads. I wouldn't say I'm friends with my dad. It's only growing up that I started realizing, like, my dad is a cool dude. Like, my dad is funny. He tells stories all the time. Like, you got to be funny to be cheating like that. Too. Right, right. He's His charming. Is- <laughs> He's charming. He yeah, has to talk somebody yeah. out of some pussy, right? Exactly. You man school 202. Better hear what I've got to say because you won't get it again. I'm not an alpha male. I'm not a beta male either. I'm just a better man. Better man. Put your happiness first, because if you don't, they won't.